Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We are back in Tectonica. I'm going to crank my cranks here. Let's get back into it. We have a lot of stuff to do and I got some things to show you that I did between episodes. Nothing new over here, I don't think. Last episode we were working on automating the plant matter. I have some new ideas about how we can do that. This is new, right? This is new, this stairway. And I burrowed out a ton of space, so we have a second floor. I'm thinking we'll, we're going to use this floor for plant processing, but we'll use it when we get around to doing these shiver thorn processing. I'm not sure what's all involved with that. Right now, we're kind of focused on the Kindle vines down below, but I did clear out a bunch of space here. That's some of our research modules, but then I also... Spend a little time making research modules. <laughs> and so we have a ton. In fact, we have so many research points. We're going to cash these out and claim a bunch of research upgrades this episode. Um, I think we have, let's see, yeah, 1,300 extra cores available to us. So let's get into that. Fortunately, there's no fall damage. You just jump right down. I think that's pretty much it. I did a little exploring between episodes, and I want to do a little more this episode and kind of show you what I found. But let's first jump into the tech tree and get our upgrades. Okay, on the terraforming side, mining speed. We can do it. Boom. Mole speed. Oh, man. I wish I would have done this... Um, before I ended the last episode. I kind of don't like doing the upgrades off camera. I like sharing those with you guys. But man, it would have helped me. Okay, what else do we have? Looks like all this is the next level core and some things we need to scan. So that's it for terraforming. Let's move to the synthesis tab. We've got smelting speed. We'll take it. We've got biodense. So right now we're making these bio bricks. It looks like there's another couple levels, right? At least to make more dense fuel. This may impact how we um, rework the um, plant matter production. Let's take that one. Crafting speed looks like we need some kind of scan for that. And then these guys up here under cooling systems, that all requires the next level of research core. I'm not sure how we get those just yet. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Logistics tool belts, let's take it. That gets us uh, some more rows on our hot bar, I guess. Hack size. Expands the number of inventory slots that can be filled without increasing encumbrance by 16. I like it. Um, faster belts. Yes, please. And then again, once we get to cooling systems, we don't have that. Those cores, so we can't do anything there. We still have 435 cores left. Let's see what else we got here. Transportation. Suit speed level 2. Increase the walking speed to 150 percent 15 percent i should say and hover back oh man increase the standard altitude for superior planning and locomotion we'll take it gotta figure out how to use that it might be in the hotkeys that's it for transportation on the energy front what do we got accumulator accumulator accumulation level two requires a scan we can't do that um we can't do oh can we do this I don't think. Are those the right cores? I guess they were. Yeah, I'm a little colorblind, so they, these colors um, don't... I can see that they're different here, but they're not as different as you guys probably see them. Uh, scans? Okay, fine. Boom. Let's see. Mass erase. Did we... Okay, good. Mass erase level 2. Okay, enables mass erasure of assets in moderate vicinity. We'll have to see if we can figure out what the key strokes are for that, or the shortcuts. Uh, mass erase 3, why not? We'll have 120 research cores available. Overhead light, we'll take it. We found one of these in the world. I used it, I'm not crazy about it. We may... I don't know, maybe they'll grow on me. Core reassignment. Okay, enables the ability to reassign research cores. I'm not sure what that's all about. I guess you can undo. Yeah, deactivate cores, maybe. We got plenty right now. Beacon. Take it. Still have 75 cores left. Mass collect. Take it. Mass collect. Free. Take it. 
And then it looks like that's it, right? Once we get up the cooling systems. So not bad. We've gotten all of the research. And I got all those cores. I literally just handcrafted these, um, all of these cores over here. And I just threw them on the ground because as I was terraforming space above to make room for this huge tower, I was just handcrafting in the background and laying more of them down. And then I had plenty of time to do handcrafting in the background while I, you know, hollowed out this whole area. Anyway, let's do a little exploring. So here's a big iron deposit. That's all right. It's not super cool, but we have some iron there. This is begging, right, to be drilled out. There's obviously a tunnel back there. Let's check this out. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, man. How do we change the toolbars? There we go. Looks like it's a control and scroll wheel to change your toolbars. So at least to change that one and then shift to change the top one. All right. Interesting. All right. We got that. I want my mole and I want to start burrowing this out. Yeah, it's a little faster with the upgrade. Have I been here before? I think I have been here before. Maybe not. Let's just look around for things to scan. Uh, just stuff to gather here, plant material. We're not going to need to do too much of that unless we want to. Okay, yeah, this, we've been through here. This is where all the accumulators are. Someone asked if uh, we could take these up. Let me try again. I don't think so, yeah. They're, all this is kind of locked down. You can't erase any of that. But I think we can join up to it if we need to. We have tons of accumulators. don't think we're going to need to. Let's head out this way. I think straight away from here. Yeah, there's some kind of cool stuff here that we have not seen in our playthrough, so let's do it. Yeah, this area back here is kind of cool. Looks almost like coral through here. I might grab my little pickaxe and take some of these out while we're walking around. And we get up there. Yep, okay, we have uh, more plants here. Let's grab these. These ones we do want to collect. We're going to be using these for processing. I suppose we could just boom that and collect them, right? Yeah, we're getting plant matter. We're getting the shiver thorn. All of this stuff is good for us. I'm trying to jump there. Got stuck. Anything interesting up here? Don't see any special ore or anything. Just these plants. A lot of this kind of corally looking rock. Much more here. Let's grab them. Alright, I found what I was looking for. Here's our array of um our big stack of research cores. Research course. So straight off from that, found this little tunnel. Let's go through here. Boom, 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 boom. Up. And right in through here. Check it out. We're inside the factory. That was the one that we saw through the glass window right when we started the gate. It's right when we started the game. So let's uh, let's inspect these. Nothing in there. Oh, man. Look at my storage. It's getting pretty full, huh? Uh, what else can we inspect? Nothing here. Guess we can get out our scanner and start scanning this stuff back. Um, let's see if we can remove it in a minute. 
Okay, some plant matter there. Um, plant matter here. Do we want to actually make use of this factory? Can we even? Looks like we have some inserters. That may not be working. We should be trying to resurrect this little factory or if there's just there's no way to do it uh, this guy has fuel no inventory so this thing must just be dead right that one clearly is surprised that one wouldn't work if we give it fuel Inserter works. Maybe they're just showing us an example of how we could actually do it. All right, let's clear out some of this if we can. Let's see what we can grab. Can we grab these? Yeah, nope. Not for us to grab, just for us to look at. And we could repurpose it if we want, I suppose. This stuff is all not meant to be moved. Um, we can grab all this goodness probably, right? I don't know if this is actually worth doing. But it's a little extra fuel. I don't think there's anything else we can really do in here other than just take in the sights. We can set up to mine, I guess, this copper and what I think is iron from the other side. Here's something we can scan for parts. Take that. Anything else up here? Oh, look at that light. Those lights are kind of cool. I could make use of those. I don't know if they're going to let us craft those in the future or not, but those I like. Seems like there would be something in here, right? Besides just some uh, fuel, bio bricks. But I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, not seeing it. Let's head out. Our objective in the top left is we need what? Atlantium ore. Oh, Atlantium ore. We're going to have to look around for that, right? 40 processor units. Supply and repair the door with 40 processor units. Let's see if we can actually do a little handcrafting of that. Intermediates. These guys take... This stuff here. Let's see if we can get some of that. Cranker cranks. Uh, that's not the stuff we want. That I'm going to take because I know it's going to back up. frames. We got a bunch of those right here. Let's grab a couple of these. Is my inventory totally full? It is. I can get rid of some of this limestone.
Okay, there we go. Now we can make a bunch of these. <laughs> Let's craft up. Let's craft up some of these. We'll just do it by hand. Sort our crazy inventory. We've got a bunch of stuff in here now. Plant matter I can get rid of. We've got kind of a manual set up here to get rid of extra plant matter and limestone. Goes there. And I think I've got a supply of this stuff. This Kindle vine extract. We're going to be able to use that to actually create limestone. Uh, and complete our whole little cycle here. Of plant matter processing. Just debating whether I want to do this right now or not. Because um, I want to rework what we have here. So we've got plants growing in here. This belt is totally backed up because they're not making use of all the plants. We're threshing them into Kindle Vine sticks. And then those sticks are being split into two lines here. One's going straight into this thresher that's getting us the Kindle Vine extract and these little bundles. And the same thing is kind of happening here. Plant Manor Fiber, I'm going to grab that and that actually. And then what we have now is this line is producing our bio bricks. We've got limestone coming in just from a hopper. Boom. From us just doing hand mining and things. We're not making this limestone yet. And then we've got, yeah, our little, these guys, what are these called again? Kindle Vine, or Plant Manor Fibers. And the end result is a bunch of bio bricks coming off of that line. And then the second thresher, this one here, this one is involved in making the plant matter frames for us. So it's taken the plant matter fiber, turning it into plant matter frames, and then those are just being sent into this storage here. Boom. And then, then we have the excess Kindle vine extract is just being put into storage. So if we look at bring up an assembler here and look at the recipes um where is this oh, i don't see it Let's see if it's in the handcrafting recipe here see this limestone and there's a recipe for it for two kindle vine extract turns into one limestone. Not sure where we make that. It says only produced in, are those smelters? Kind of look like it. Let's see, that would kind of make sense. Let's start on a smelter and see if it shows up as a recipe for the smelters. Um, where might you be? It doesn't, oh, it just is gonna take it. Let's give it, yeah. It'll do it. That'll make a limestone. Oh man, that process is pretty darn fast. So anyway, we need to incorporate that in our whole design here. I kind of want to rip all this stuff up. I don't want to do it right now. <laughs> I kind of want to complete the next objective or do a little more exploring. So let's do that. Let's do a little more exploring. So oh, here's one thing I want to show you. This, I'm guessing this might be limestone. We could test it out. Do you have a mining drill on here? Let's uh, put it on three. I think we have some in inventory. Just see what this shows up as. Do I have any plant matter material? I don't. Um, anything. It looks like I've cleared this <laughs> this area out of all plant matter. There's a nugget. I'll take it. Just curious if this is going to show as limestone. Hmm. Yeah, so we've got limestone there. In fact, I can just leave that miner there. We'll come back and deal with that some other time.
All right, so I've done a bit more exploring, walked in a few circles, <laughs> but I found a new area here. Let's check this out. It looks like there's some stuff for us to scan here. Let's do it. Oh, mining drills. Looks like there's a little circuit here. Okay, scan completed. Suit speed three. Tech is now available in the tech tree. Cool. Take this. What else? Um, we don't need to scan the light. We can just leave that there. For now, what is this guy? This looks like a standard field setup for drilling a new shaft, but there are two problems with it. The first problem is that we're at the end of the line. The only thing below here is the core, and the shaft doesn't look like it was cut large enough for freight anyways. The second problem is that nobody asked me first. That's a much bigger problem. If whatever they were up to here was bad enough that they thought I would report it, I must have been very wrong or very dangerous. Or both. Interesting. Another thing we can uh, scan here. Boy, I like the idea of this having a huge mining rig. Uh, I'm just going to check and see if there's anything we can do here. doesn't look like it. Okay, what do we got here? Identified. Zeno material containers. No contents detected. Hmm. Wonder if that's the stuff that's being mined. Well, that is interesting. Any new objectives with that? Nope, nope, nope. All right, I'm going to do a little more exploring. I'm kind of looking for something that's going to unlock our ability to find that Atlantum ore. Um, it could just be these other these other clues off to the left. If we pass that door, door W O nineteen eighty one. Let's look at the map and see if that. Yeah, <laughs> it's not going to help. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything indicating the door. Let's check the journal. Is there something here that helps us? Okay, deciphering signal. Fluent orientation. Okay, craft and place an assembler on power floor. Is this stuff all done? Why does that say zero? Craft and place an assembler on the power floors. Connect to an activated crank generator. Use 10 iron frames. Okay, it looks like there's some other little objectives here they want us to do that I've been kind of ignoring. Primary work order recommended. Activate the mining charge technology in the tech tree to gain the mining charge tutorial. Mining charges destroy and extract resources from specialized mineral veins that cannot be affected by basic tools. Water wheel fragments. Resource core 480 nanometer orientation. And then deciphering these signals. Decipher signal using an assembler to craft and place an unknown number of accumulators on a power floor. Interesting. These ones are all done. I guess we could just go after these guys. Yeah, repairing the door. Where is the door? Did we do this? Repair door WD1981. I thought we did. I'm going to look around. And we'll come back when I find something interesting. All right, I've just been doing a little exploring and kind of looking at the map, trying to navigate. And it looks like we're kind of near a cavern we may not have explored yet. So I'm right here, and it looks like if I drill through, I might be able to get to some new area. It looks like there's at least a couple ore deposits and some, some structure over here that might be interesting to go explore. So I'm going to see if I can dig straight through. Oh, man see if I can get oriented right. Yeah, that's kind of the direction I want to dig. So let's just go at it here and see if we can find anything. Check the map again while we're cooling down. Yeah, that's the direction I want to go. Check the map. 
trying to see where I'm working my way. This is going to take a bit of digging, but I'm curious to get into this cavern. It looks like there's some stuff to explore. So I'm going to keep digging. It looks like I need to go down like straight and then a little bit to the right. Check it out. Okay, I broke through. Let's uh, let's do some exploring. See what's over here. Let me clear out a little bit more room. Okay, what do we got here? I'm gonna put some lights, maybe. Just marking where we need to find our way out of here. Uh, we got more kindle vine. Oh man. Yeah, we can have a huge, huge plant processing factory if we want. Man, we've got a ton of Kindle vine. Uh, hopefully I can mine through this. It looks like there's something behind here. Oh no. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's some special material. Uh, it doesn't say restricted. But it's not exactly mining it either, is it? Looks like I might have to try and burrow around it. Looks like it might be blocked. Oh, that's a bummer with some kind of material that we can't get around. Yeah, it says protected area. They're not letting me get very close. Yeah, we are right next to the room. Oh, it's showing. Yeah, it almost looks like it's showing some kind of material. Maybe that's the indestructible stuff I can't get through. Maybe there's another way. I'm going to keep burrowing and we'll see if we can find our way into this. All right. I tried to burrow around that restricted area. I just can't get in. I'm on my way out and I see some more things for us to scan. Let's do it. I think we might be able to just... Oh, I guess they want us to scan these two. Just some parts. Nothing too special. Uh, in front of a big copper deposit. What I was going to try and do is get at that new area from a different angle. Let's uh, bring up the map, see if I can find it. I'm here. I want to try and get into this part right down there somehow. So maybe, maybe way over here. If I can find my way way over here, maybe I can connect in through there. I'm going to try it. All right. So now I'm right across from where I want to try and burrow through. I don't know if we're going to be able to or not. I feel like we're probably too high up, but I'm going to try it. Yeah, it looks like restricted area next to the uh, next to the water. Probably not gonna be able to like, go lower. So we can hop up here. We're gonna be well. Let's try it. Let's try it. We'll keep going straight. Check the map, see if we're on top of it now. Uh, we're real close. All right, we broke through to another area. Let's uh, <laughs> let's hop down, do some exploring. I don't know what's going to be in these rooms. Looks like maybe just more plant life. I should probably put some lights down here just so we know how to get out later. Kindle vines with seeds, which is nice. Uh, 
Uh, is there anything for us to scan in here that's unique, like these guys? Nope. I know I'm not really following the script the game probably wants us to follow, but I kind of want to do a little exploring here. I think this might just be a dead end with not much to offer. Except for a few Kindle Vine seeds, which we'll take. What can I have up here? Anything up this way? Oh, you know, I got the jetpack. Let's um craft this thing up. How might we use it? Oh, there we go. Just tap in the space bar, does it? Alright, yeah, I don't think there's anything for us down here. It's worth a shot. Actually, let's look at the map. I thought there was a room attached to this thing. Oh. Yeah, we gotta climb up, it looks like. Let's, uh, let's head back down here and do a little more exploring. Jetpack might help us here. They want us... Let's look at the map. Yeah. Kind of middle of the room, right? They're like saying you could hover up. Oh, check it out. Can I get up through... <laughs> Can I get up through that hall? Doubt it. Doubt it. don't yeah I think that's as far as the jetpack takes me oh man that's kind of interesting is there a way to climb up there probably not let's see if we can terraform around it I'm just curious nope it's all protected area um what we could try to do I have a feeling it's in the story or something we're probably not supposed to be here just yet I'm guessing. That's my guess. Um, can I? Put a stairway down somehow. Okay, we're trying, right? We are giving it the uh, college try. I don't think they're going to let me. I'm so close, too. I'm so close. Um, We could get creative. Let's see. I bet they don't let us place things. Power floor. Hmm. Just kind of walking. Check it out. Check it out. I somehow made my way up there. I don't know if the sides are a ladder. Somehow I was able to climb through. Check it out. We're somewhere we're not supposed to be. Oh, man. Oh, man. Another cube. We're going to break the story here. I'll have to mark this as a spoiler. This is Colonel Stefan Wagner. Your suit is failing to transmit a signature. Identify yourself. Paladin? Sir, you're alive! In much the same way that you are, it would seem. It is a strange thing to be a witness to your own lifeless body. I was unlucky enough to end up next to mine, too. But, yeah. I'm not sure what we are now, but I know somehow that I am still myself. I am conscious. I am choosing these words. My experience of this loss is... emotional. Hey, I'm in no better shape than you are. And this breaker has something wrong with their suit. For all we know, they could be a stack of drones in a trench coat. Either way, at least we've got a body to work with. 
Precisely. For now, we must focus on goals that we can achieve. If the sensors from my command bridge were correct, our manufacturing in sector Victor has been compromised. How far has your exhaustive reconstruction progressed? Exhaustive reconstruction? Sir, it's the entire sector. My apologies, Sergeant. I did not realize you had more pressing commitments. We're rebuilding, sir, but mostly to focus on recovering signals for search and rescue. We can't reach command. We don't have orders, and for all we know, every sector could be exactly like this one. Gone. Sergeant, your unit could go for months without direction from the surface. That's what deep reconnaissance is about. That's why we chose you to lead it. The resources we came here to harvest, refine, and bring home to Earth are still needed. There is no hardship we can face that does not pale in comparison to the strife that will be visited upon humanity if we fail. Until we learn otherwise, our mission to industrialize this world remains. And rest assured that we will rescue everyone we can to help us accomplish it. But we will accomplish it. I understand. Either way, sir, we're going to give it everything we've got. Good. Now let us find our friends. Oh man, that's cool. That is cool. I'm sure we're not supposed to have uh, gotten to that point in the story yet, but we did. So let's uh, let's see if we can get up. I want to see what we got over here. Come on, fellas. All right, we are through the hole. Let's see what we can scan. We get to scan the chair? Probably not. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh man! Oh no! We've got a uh, casualty up there. Okay, how do we navigate this area? Jetpack breaker. We were too late. Only one person would have been in that chair. I'm gonna scan. We'll do it. Tunneling tech is now available in the tech tree. Uh, we gotta take our time over here. Some computer keyboards on the ground. What else? What else? Oh man, looks like some kind of research cube. Let's scan it. Scan a research core blue. We need one more fragment before we're, they're gonna let us make those. Anything else over here? I'm gonna be a little paranoid. Double check everything. Yeah, nothing here looks like. Hmm. Got a bunch of crazy boxes. What the heck is this? Let's scan it. Very acrobatic of you to find a way up here, Breaker. This navigational sphere is inactive, but your scanner was able to pull a databank entry from it. Okay, we'll have to check that out. Oh man, this is like parkour here. Alright, I think we're almost ready to get out of here. Uh, looks like there's something to scan here. Let's do it. Another thing to scan. This locker is empty, but the scanner can pick up molecular traces from things it had in it previously. Even if they don't unlock new technologies, scannable objects like these can round out your data bank with background information. Keep an eye out for them. Couple accumulators and water wheels. Water wheels. I don't think we're supposed to find find those yet, but that's all right. I'll take it. I uh, will take it. Anything else of interest? Boy, I feel like I'm going to miss something. Definitely have that feeling. How do we walk in? Through here, right? Scanned everything. I hope. 
All right, I've tried to parkour my way around. I can't get anywhere new. So let's see if we can get out of here. That was pretty cool. And we got some goodies for our efforts here. We may need to deconstruct <laughs> to get out of here. Hopefully they let us deconstruct the stairs we put up. Boom. Um, let's get all of these back if we can. Cool. I like it. I like it. Now we're in a pit. How do I get out of here? I gotta take a hard right up the hill. One more last quick scan here of the ground. Think we're good. Don't see anything on the map. Oh man, yeah, that was kind of cool. And we got some goodies, the water wheels. Oh man, I like it. And we scanned some other things and we got another um kind of data cube, right? Did we actually do we actually have that in our inventory now? Sort. Yeah, we do. Garnet and emerald. Sparks and Colonel Stefan Wagner. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Where are we going? We're trying to get out of here. Here's our little mark for the exit. Can I do this jetpacky? Yep. Pretty cool. Boy, not far from uh, our terminal over there, too. All right, pretty cool. I think we're going to leave this episode here. Next episode, we'll probably get down to brass tacks here. Um, working on the factory and working on the objectives as they want us to work on them. It looks like... I didn't notice it before, but... in Let's see, can we get to the journal here? Yeah, they got a bunch of tasks for us to complete. We should probably go after these. Go after these as best we can. Does it show coordinates here? Hmm. I sure would like to finish this door one, but I don't know where the heck that even is. Too bad. Are there coordinates? Can we select? Does it show up on the map? If I untoggle some of these other ones. Will it show me at all where I need to go on the map? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, we'll leave it here. Next episode, yeah, like I said, I think we'll get to doing some more um, factory building and working on those tasks. We've got a lot of materials. Now we can make a fairly big factory down here, at least for plant matter and maybe the circuits. Yeah, we'll pick it up next episode for analysis of Glidercat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this series on Tectonica cool cool game we're making some progress this episode we didn't do much factory building at all we just uh kind of looked around the area and found another cube data cube but yeah that's it for now i'll see you all in the next episode